Under normal circumstances, air is a dielectric medium. That means that it doesn't conduct electricity. But if you generate a high enough electric field, around 3 kilovolts per millimeter, it'll experience dielectric breakdown. That means the air in the path of the electric field will ionize and form a conducting channel. This ionized air is now a conductor. I have here a Jacob's Ladder. You might recognize it as that science thing that you see in movies and TV that lets you know that you're in a mad science laboratory. This box down here generates 15 kilovolts across these two antennae. That voltage generates a high enough electric field to create dielectric breakdown at the point where these two wires are closest to each other. That ionized air warms up and, as we know, hot air rises. It rises up between the two antennae. Now ordinarily, 15 kilovolts is not enough to cause dielectric breakdown when the two metals are this far apart. However, dielectric breakdown has already occurred down here. So the ion channel is simply rising. Eventually, it becomes so turbulent that it just sort of dissipates. This basically resets the whole device back to its initial state, where it'll once again spark at the bottom. You can see it doesn't behave the same every time because of the electrical forces on the antennae. The current is actually causing them to wobble. We can also play around with it with this fun science stick. The most common form of dielectric breakdown that we're familiar with is a phenomenon called lightning. The path of lightning takes the form of what's called electrical trees, and they form so fast, generally we can't see them. Here we'll create something called Lichtenberg figures, where we'll actually see electrical trees form in real time. It's sort of like slow motion lightning. All we need to do is take a board, hammer some nails into it, Take some baking soda and water. And wet the surface in between the two nails to form a sort of conducting channel in the dielectric wood. And then hook it up to a neon lamp power supply. And now you have a beautiful work of art that you can sell on Etsy.